So now I've set up the wireless uh, network. I've added my open weather API key and my longitude and latitude of where I want the weather forecast to be. So if I now power up the unit, just to show you what happens. So now it restarts and gives you the same start screen, obviously. And what it will do is it will go off and connect to the internet. You see, it starts with amber, pulls in the data, and then shortly afterwards, it will load the next eight days. So what we have is we have an eight day forecast, as well as an eight hour forecast, which I'll show you in a moment. So on the eight day forecast, you've got the current day, and then obviously the next few days. So you've got the main weather, and it, it, just, it, it cycles between a date and a description. You've got um, the other icon that shows you what the weather is, and you've got temperature, uh, min max day night wind speed wind direction humidity and rainfall uv index air pressure and humidity uh, you've got sunrise and sunset and moon phase for the next eight days uh, on top of this you've got some controls using capacitive touch so if i just press the first there you can see that we get an eight hour forecast which if i then press the control on the right another capacitive touch it will cycle between uh, centigrade and Fahrenheit, um, between the two. Uh, and you see the graph there uh, for hourly temperature, hourly rainfall, uh, hourly pressure. Um, and there's some things built in, such as if the pressure is rising steadily over the next uh, three hours, it will tell you, or it will tell you it's rising fast or rapidly, and likewise it's uh, lowering fast or rapidly. Uh, wind direction. Uh, it's a new addition, took me ages to get that needle right in the, in the compass. Um, and then as well on top of that, every 10 minutes the unit will actually send itself to sleep. Although you can actually just turn it off yourself by the centre switch. Um, and the last thing is if you uh, move this to another area, uh, you might need to reset it. So if you touch all three things together, what it will do is it will go for a factory reset. And all of the parameters will be lost. And the next time it reboots, as you'll see shortly, it will go back into access point mode um, and it will then um, expect you to set it back up again. So uh, quite a lot of coding involved in this, um, but it's been thoroughly enjoyable. And my dad's 85th birthday tomorrow, so I'm hopeful that uh, he's going to like it. And I hope you like it.